Hello everyone, I'm David Adore Nadelecon. I was also referred to as Java while at the Vidimas University. I'm a software developer, an agile practitioner, and a certified Scrum Master. I graduated from the Computer Science Department, class of Grace 2013 set. Currently work as a full stack software developer with Aleph Education Consultancy, the leading edutech delivery service company in the United Arab Emirates and in the Middle East region. One of the things I appreciate most about the Redeemers University was the opportunity others and I were given to represent the university twice in the annual Nigeria Computer Society Tertiary Institution Competition, where the Redeemers University emerged winners in the software development category in the 2012-2013 session. One of my fondest memories about the Redeemers University was the yearly Ronsa Carnival organized by the Student Association, which brought about students' creativeness and interdepartmental relations. Well, as part of the Alumni Association's goal to get more involved with the university, I have indicated interest in being part of the Alumni Mentorship Program for students who are interested in taking a career path in the tech industry. Well, to the graduating set, you have made it to the finish line of one phase in life. For that, I say congratulations. A new phase is beginning today in which the Redeemers University has given you the most important thing, the foundation on which to build on. The diligence, perseverance, smart work, and God on your side, you shall achieve your aspirations. Well, to the current students of the Redeemers University, we are eagerly waiting to celebrate and to have you with us as part of the Alumni Association. Well, to the current students of the Redeemers University, we are eagerly waiting to celebrate and have you with us as part of the Alumni Association. I pray that God shall make that possible in due time in Jesus' name. Well, to the audience watching at this first virtual convocation, we say a big thank you. Once again, congratulations to the great Redeemers University. Thanks and God bless. Hello, my name is Titi Lokwe Adeboye. I was known as Titi Lokwe Adeshalabaki Uni and currently I'm a chef. I studied mass communication um, in Redeemers University and I graduated 2009. I have a master's in marketing and management from the University of Loughborough in the United Kingdom. So I cook for a living basically and by the grace of God I have three locations of my business currently. I have um, one in Ede Redeemers University and then I have one on Redemption Camp and and I have a third branch in Ikeja, looking to expand by the grace of God to more states in Nigeria generally. One thing that is notable for me is the routine lifestyle that we had. Somehow it has made me more cautious and more responsible. With my department, I was heavily involved in, in a lot of things. I was uh, in the assistant social person at a point, I was sub editor at a point, I was advert editor at some, <laughs> or advert something at a point it was a ground for me to launch out in the world i mean I, I learned a lot of interpersonal skills the value of hard work the value of planning the value of communicating oh my god i missed choir rehearsals <laughs> I think my set when I was there, being in choir was a big thing and we had such a fantastic coordinator that, I mean, he took it really personal. So I think one of the things I would say I appreciate about Ron would be the decent accommodation. From 100 level to about 300 level, I'm not sure about now, we only had about three people in a room. You know, you also had a sitting area and you also had an entry toilet and bathroom. The mask of department, we are really known to be very extravagant, very loud, very extra in whatever we do so I remember one one of our departmental week um, period and it was we had a day where we had to wear is it color riot or something <laughs> and I remember we all turned out wearing all sorts of colors pink blue yellow green just mixed it looked so funny the lecturer was so shocked just to see us coming in with all sorts of colors so he asked us to stand up and then he pointed at me directly to explain why I am wearing <laughs> What looks like rags, and we had to explain, sir. It's a department week. Um, this he was like, well, this is amazing and very preposterous. It was. <laughs> we were just laughing and giggling and having fun, but he wasn't finding it funny. He was. <laughs> he was really upset. My major goal is to do whatever God wants me to do. I mean, it doesn't. It, it sounds like. Mm. 
you know, just being churchy or just being big or anything. But I've learned over the years that when you are doing something that God really wants you to do, even if you encounter challenges, you will always come out victorious. Like you would, you would not struggle too much doing those things. It might not make sense to other people why you're doing what you're doing. It might not seem normal, seem fun. But if God has called you to do that thing and you're doing it, so it's perfect. About two years ago, I had um, reached out to a few of my friends that we went to run together and we sort of bounced around the idea of going back to do something there, you know, to to mentor, to, to talk to ladies, to talk to the guys, you know, just to, to have a feel of what the environment is now. So, you know, I'm still thinking around that area of um, mentoring, of um, um, doing something for my department, mass communication department, yay! So, yeah, definitely, um, it's something that I will do in the nearest future. First of all, I would like to say a big we do in the nearest future. First of all, I would like to say a big congratulations to you. I mean, you made it. Despite all the challenges, despite all the difficult times, you made it. So that is a big congratulations to you. And I just want to say that you should keep, keep moving. I mean, being a graduate is, is a very big achievement but there's more for you to to do out there the world is waiting for you so go out and prosper go out and, and make it don't box yourself in explore study more because somehow i feel like when i remember when i got out of uni i was thinking oh finally a break oh thank god i i made it i'm not doing anything books for a while but i realized that straight in i went i wanted to get my masters so whatever you want to do go ahead and do it if it's if it's work you want to do um if you if you want to study go ahead and do it as well um or if you want to do the two just explore your options and see what works and also trust god to help you and guide you in your journey because it's it's definitely a long journey you still have ahead of you i would say you are almost there even if you're in 100 level you probably just have about three or four years to go please don't do anything silly that would hinder or hamper your destiny if you, the, you have rules stick by the rules the rules are there to guide you no one has died from sticking back to the rules you are only there for a while if you feel like you're being hindered by something or one rule one decision or the other just bear with it it's just for a while uh, and i trust that just like this ones that are celebrating today you too will celebrate pretty soon thank you to the fathers the mothers the guardians the aunties and uncles that have supported these beautiful young stars throughout their years i mean from giving pocket money to giving little gifts to bringing provisions of food you are amazing i really want to say thank you and i just want to say please keep supporting them they still need your support you know even though they are they're done with university you still have that role of guidance of um, encouragement of um, uh, mentorship to them so please don't leave them of um, uh, mentorship to them so please don't leave them to their own devices still do whatever it is that you can do to assist and help them be who god wants them to be <laughs> I'm Bella Rose Okoje, also known as Bella Rose or just Bella. And I'm right now a media personality. I graduated from the Redeemers University Mass Communication Department Hala. <laughs> in the year 2010, post-graduate certifications. The only one I have right now is a certificate in copywriting from Oto Academy. It's an advertising academy, essentially for anyone who's interested in advertising. PR and advertising was my major. Even though I have spent the most of my years between my graduation and now on radio it was an exciting thing for me to also just seek knowledge in the area where i focused as a mass communication undergraduate so yeah right now like i did mention i'm a media personality recently got off radio after being on radio for at least eight years i did start off with ray power went on to inspiration fm kind of sort of closed out with uh, city fm right now i am still doing a lot of consultations for radio stations and media houses generally i'm also a voiceover artist you might have heard my voice on some 
adverts on television some uh, would include Etisalat, Coca-Cola, MTN, Nasco Cornflakes, Darling Extensions to mention a few <laughs> and some banks as well so from Stamikai BTC Bank to Union Bank I'm co-founder of TextDNG.com which interestingly is uh, founded by Olawale Adeno who's also an alumnus of the Rijimaj University we took our expertise from the Rijimaj University he was largely responsible for the virtual yearbooks that we had in our time you know he's he's a pioneer set and so we, we took that and created a company called tech city ng where we document the happenings in the tech ecosystem in nigeria we talk about what is happening there we talk about news and we also review gadgets right so devices that people use that they don't exactly know have a lot of capabilities and whatnot we break it down so that you know what these things do so i do that as well right now i'm a member of the tedx lego team I head the publicity department I'm an actor I have featured in quite a number of uh, series on uh, terrestrial TV on the web and um, on cable TV yes I was a part of Castle and Castle by Ebony Life TV also featured in Backseat by Victor Agawa and HQ Barber on Africa Magic Ron has impacted my life first and foremost spiritually so while we were in the Redeemers University as you may know we were on camp in the day I was in the extension I was my, my hostel was at the extension and so sometimes I would sit on and think about how ah, how my waka used to be then you know I'll go from extension to like Quinesta Hall from Quinesta I'll go to Tanti's or I'll go to like ELR you know just I, I think that it was it was beautiful in the sense that community was we were so big on community and everyone knew the other person it was like a small town of people who knew each other's business and that is what i honestly miss the most where you 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 hang out together in class after class everybody goes back to the hostel to go and tie scarf to go for you know wednesday service <laughs> i really miss all of it and just you know sometimes the food that we would all just sit down to eat and just the gisting and you know the ministerial work as well in the chapel ah it's so much i miss that so so much and why people will say stuff like uh, you know private universities are a bit too protective and all of that i mean now that i am out of that environment and i'm in quote unquote the real world it felt beautiful to just be protected for four years and I miss that. Now I'm responsible for myself. Thank you, Jesus. When my sister just gained admission, I mean, we are so close, right? And people said things like, ah, now you're in university, you will not be as close as before and whatever. But I think it helped our relationship even better. It helped us to help each other, <laughs> you know? It helped us to make friends as well. It, it also widened our friendship base. It helped us to meet other people. It helped us to accommodate other people. It helped us to see people who live or have or who lived different lives compared to ours and helped us to love them regardless. It helped us to keep an eye out for them because they kept an eye out for us. And um, family is everything. Family is everything. So whether that's your blood family or family that you create while in the university, it's everything. And so we may not talk all the time, but when we do, so like if I call this or if I call ex students, we are speaking as if the last time we saw was minutes ago, <laughs> you know, and that's the thing about the community I have talked about for the longest time in this video. So I'm big on content creation, I'm equally big on broadcasting, um, and just being a mass communicator, and that is the line I want to continue to toe. And so, whether it's in creating content per movies or videos just stuff that edifies and gives glory to god is what i'm about i was in the drama department as well <laughs> i was a member of radicals for christ <laughs> so many stories uh, if i were to give back to ron what would i do i think it would be to just come around sometimes and share with particularly mass communication students what i know because while the school has invested so much particularly in my department i feel like there's still so much more that can be done um to marry what is happening in real time with what you are being taught at school so for me it's going to be just sharing more stories being able to have more personal communication with people such that the experience does not start when they leave 
right so it's not at the end of your four years that you begin to experience stuff but you already are learning about things even while you are in school within the four walls of the school so that's um what i would like to give back what would i like to say as a word of encouragement to the current graduating set i would like to say that you haven't wasted your four years in the redimage university you may not know it now it may not even seem like it now but i give you at least two years and you will realize that you have gained so much more than you ever imagined you had even on this day and don't allow for the legacy that the Redeemers University is trying to build to get affected by your actions even as you leave the school it would not take anything for you to be a positive speaker of the Redeemers University wherever you go be a good ambassador of the school wherever you find yourself in whatever industry or sector do your best do your job so well such that if you are a christian or you profess another faith they will not be able to second guess your expertise be so good at what you do if you are going to use your certificate to work be so good at what you do that they might have anything else to say about you but they will not be able to fault the work that you do be so good and make your school your god and your entire community so proud of you thank you so much and congratulations again bella rosa koji signing out god bless you with a vision You're welcome to the day three of the 12th convocation of the Redeemers University. Yes, a very big welcome to all of you right now tuned in and watching us. We started uh, on day one, that was on Sunday. We had the Thanksgiving service in the morning mm -hmm. and uh, the general overseer, who is also the visitor to the university, yeah. he had a meeting with the graduates in the evening. Yes, he did. And then yesterday mm -hmm. we had the convocation lecture beautiful oh that was taken by mrs ibukun awashika yeah. and it was inspiring i mean it was energetic there were so many things to take note yes. of in that lecture mm -hmm. and i'm even sure that i mean the graduates will have things to used to run the race of life yes that because lecture. it's a new journey that they're forging ahead into so yeah. exactly and then in the evening of course we had the convocation play it was a time to relax it was you know. beautiful yes it was a beautiful it was exciting to see that oh uh, yeah sure and today is the main convocation we're having the award mm -hmm. of degrees today we have various categories of degrees yes yeah, quite we phenomenal. have a Pressing, so we're going home with um, PGDs, mm -hmm. uh, some with uh, BA, that's a Bachelor of yes, Arts, BSC, BSC yes, MSc, MA, and MBA as yes, well. Yes. And do you know what the biggest of them are? The PhDs. The PhDs. Those are the big guys. They call me the big guns. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, I mean, it's an interesting time today. Yes, and um, we just want every one of you mm -hmm. to please enjoy everything that we have packaged for you today Definitely. so um we want you to look forward to what are the things for everyone to look forward to today we have um, there are going to be speeches speeches yes, yes. by um various um important personnel yes stakeholders to, yes, to within the university, the university. Yes. yes but then there's one extremely exciting speech that we're looking yes, forward to yes we're looking forward the, to the speech by the valedictorian the valedictorian <laughs> yeah he or she you you find out you know well she's a she she's a she oh a she oh so what's her cgpa stay tuned and find <laughs> out <laughs> <laughs> all right you heard it all stay tuned and find out yeah. please relax uh, while you watch some documentaries mm -hmm. after we will come back to you and we'll have a nice time here yes In our quest to raise total individuals that meet global standards as transformative agents, Redeemers University strives to identify, adapt, and put into effect a system that cultivates a balance in diversity of every student's lives. The vision of uh, Redeemers University is to be foremost um, academic institutions 
uh, setting standards through continuous uh, commitment to excellence geared towards uh, making a transformative uh, impact on society. It's usually very challenging if you understand the young people of this day. Working with them, you need a combination of two things. You need to know how to love and how to be firm. Um, I think these two has actually worked for me. It's really pleasant working with the students. Um, sometimes the challenge could be very enormous, but once you have passion for the job and then um, you understand how to deal with young people of these days and uh, you're going to enjoy the job. But I think it's been a very wonderful experience working almost all my life with a student in the Redeemers University. The university is committed to building students that are able to balance between academic, spiritual, as well as social life. Having been to three universities and finally getting to Williams University, I feel that this is like the best decision I've made in my life. Before I came to school, I'm a very social person. I am still a very social person, but Williams University has helped me find Christ in a new and a total different way. I came into school not knowing that I would ever, ever be a top worker, but coming into school, experiencing God the way I did, it made me join the workforce, it made me balance out my social and my academic and my spiritual life. I have a spiritual life now because of Redeemer's University, and I'm so glad and grateful for the balance. Having been to Redeemer's University, I've been able to strike a balance between my spiritual life, educational life, and social life. I'm a pastor's daughter and definitely I've always been a good girl, all spiritual. I've always been a very warm girl kind of person. But coming into Redeemer's University, I've been able to understand some factors of life that is not just all about the spirituals and not all about the books. But then having to balance life in general. I have been able to strike a balance between my social, academic and spiritual life thanks to the environment that Redmond University provides. It all started with a little bit of youthful exuberance and a little bit of spiritual insensitivity, so I got carried away with some activities that were not so good, and then I found myself in Wrexham, and that was on the 29th of May 2015. And the story in Wrexham was, it started like very sad, because I wasn't happy that I was there. It felt like I betrayed destiny, I betrayed friends, I betrayed my parents, I betrayed God. And then I was really sad getting into the old system, but then over time, I really enjoyed myself there, because I found God in one. I found purpose, I found a lot of things in Wrexham. I thank God for Pastor Joel Oke and the coordinators, Pastor Son, Mary Deji and Sister Lucas, because they really tried in bringing out the total man in each and every one of us that were there. And then uh, the school did not give up on us because they gave us an opportunity to actually be a part of that so that we can actually get back as better persons. No matter how unreformed you are, once you walk through Redeemer's University, you'll come out a total uh, reformed person. As a university, uh, that is uh, relating with uh, young people. We never give up on them. We believe very strongly that there is no person that is not redeemable. And so all our efforts, uh, we put it into programs and uh, services to ensure that people who are having challenges of uh, different areas of life are brought back to the path such that they can fulfill their destiny. In this university, by the time you finish, you will have developed in the three major areas of life, which is spiritual, which is academic, which is uh, social. So that's one, uh, uh, number one thing. And the essence of this one is to ensure that by the time they finish, you know, the vision and the mission of the goal will have been uh, achieved. A genuine understanding of the young mind has enabled us to implement tools that help us build up their dreams, instilling ambition, humility, honesty, integrity, confidence and consequently making them better individuals. We believe in them and we never give up. Redeemers University, running with the vision. For every decision we make, we get to ask why. Why have that meal for breakfast? Or put on that shirt? Why do this or that? For most, the answer to the question why 
is etched in the depths of our desires and our desires are reflected in the choices we make. Why choose wrong? Oh, hi. I'm Fentola Victoria Jigoshili, a PhD student and the Vice President of the Alumni Association of Ridimas University. And this is my 10th year in Ridimas University. Hello, my name is Belu Ibukonlu Abusayo. I am a PhD student in the Department of Behavioral Studies, studying psychology. I also work as an assistant lecturer in the same department. Why did I choose Ridimas University? I got an admission into Ridimas University in 2010 to study uh, microbiology for my BSc degree and in my final year I was presented with two opportunities one to further my education abroad or to come back to Edimaz University for my master's and PhD degree in molecular biology and genomics under the supervision of Professor Christian Appy, which I did because I believe in Edimaz University and I believe in the mission and vision of Edimaz University and I'm happy to say that has been the best decision of my life. I got into Redimage University in the year 2010. Um, I studied um, sociology for my BSc program. And when I got back into the Redimage University in 2015, I took up a postgraduate diploma in clinical psychology. And presently, I'm on my PhD program. I saw this rare opportunity to study uh, molecular biology and genomics under the supervision of Professor Appy. Because of this, I've been able to meet a lot of scientists, people that I could never have dreamt of meeting in my life. And I've been able to interact with them and gain a lot from them. And also because of this, I was also privileged to go to Harvard University for my first summer training in genomics. Something that I might not have even gotten to if I've gone to another university outside Nigeria or even stay in Nigeria. I want to say that my experience in Widimaj University has been worthwhile and of utmost impact in my life. The PhD program in Widimaj University and the postgraduate um, program generally has been of immense benefit to me and has helped me build capacity in a lot of areas. Besides the fact that I have the opportunity to work and school, I also have the opportunity to intern with different multinationals. I've interned in Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Aro. I've also interned with international organizations. Let's talk about being a scientist. The most important um, thing or uh, part of being a good scientist is your, your papers. And this has presented me to a lot of high impact factor journals. Something that probably if I had gone abroad, I might not have, like, please, let's talk about it. I have a paper in New England Journal, one of the best journals in the world. Like, these are the things that you may not even get outside, outside Nigeria. And this is why I am so happy that I came back to Rome. Why Redeemer University? I understand fully well by my exposure and uh, the level of interactions I've had with people across different institutions that Redeemer University stands out in excellence and in prestige. And I've been able to achieve, even right here from Nigeria, Africa, what um, I would have achieved if I had gone to certain countries. I've been able to um, combine work and school and advance both academically and professionally. At Redeemer's University, we have a culture of commitment to excellence, a dedication to expanding the frontiers of knowledge through quality education, research, innovation, and entrepreneurship, geared towards making a transformative impact on the society. We have built a system for expression of limitless creativity and ingenuity, promoting relevant ideas and preferring local solutions to developmental challenges in our society. And that, my friend, is why you choose RUN. With the Mass University, running with a vision. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those documentaries. Yes, they were truly. And I hope you've learned a thing or two about Redeemers University as well from those documentaries. Yes, we hope so. So, Grace, I mean, um, I was part of the first convocation of Redeemers University wow. in 2009. <laughs> 2009? Yes. And this is 11 convocations after. This is wow. the 12th convocation. Yeah. And it is your convocation. 
proudly. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm sure the, the, there are differences. Yeah. You know, a lot has happened mm -hmm. uh, from 2009, the first convocation, to 2020, yeah. the 12th convocation. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, I remember when we started mm -hmm. and when we had that convocation, yes. um, our gowns weren't as beautiful as the ones that you have now, <laughs> and I am envious of that. <laughs> For starters. Well, our gowns are actually very beautiful. The color, the pop, is just it's amazing. So that I, I mean, that's an advancement. Definitely, there's from a growth. that time. Yeah. Yes, there's growth. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing was, you know, when I was in mm -hmm. school, when we had a convocation, yeah. it was colleges. Yes, yes, actually. And so what do you have now? Now we have faculties, actually. So we have the colleges broken down into different faculties. So it's easier to have access to your lecturers and things like that. It's, it's, it's way better. There's definitely an improvement there. And then, um, you know, we had... Uh, so perhaps I'll use faculties now, right? <laughs> yes. So there were three faculties mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. But now I understand there are more than five. Yes. Then we, it, it was just um, natural sciences, humanities, humanities, the management and social sciences. Yes. Yes. So right now we have management science is a faculty on its yes. own. Yes. Then um, social, social science sciences, is a faculty on its own. Basic medical science. Oh, basic medical science. Yes. That, that should be um, nursing, yes, nursing, physiotherapy, physiotherapy anatomy, things like that. Yes. Things like that. Yes. Oh, yes, that's, yes. That, that's cool. Cool. And then I think there's a faculty of law. Yes, now. there's a faculty of law oh, as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's tremendous growth. Actually, and it is. A little bit whispered to me that um, the faculty of engineering and environmental sciences is starting Very this soon. year. Very soon. This soon. year. Yes. And I heard there's a gigantic building infrastructure. It's, it's going to blow people away once they see it. Wow, wow, wow. So much growth. So, yeah, so, definitely. so much growth. Mm -hmm. You know, another thing is every alumnus yeah. of Redeemers University mm -hmm. is referred to as a royal ambassador. Actually, it's, it's beautiful. We're all royalty. Mm, yes, we're all royalty. <laughs> but then, I mean, this set, yeah. you know, every graduating class, they mm -hmm. have a peculiar name. Yes, attached And this year, it's Daniel Generation. Yes. So, I mean, why Daniel Generation? Well, when you talk about Daniel Generation, you're talking about a set full of determined, courageous, mm -hmm people full of integrity or mm. students full of integrity mm. let me put it that way and it has been very very evident yes. in this set yes you see the way things are being done mm. in, down to the leadership mm. where it was our set that was taking it it was absolutely phenomenal you mm. could see all the straights in this set okay. and that is why we are called the daniel, daniel generation, generation. Yeah. so does that mean like these streets are peculiar to you guys or what? you guys have a high dose of those yeah. traits. So if you see anyone in Daniel generation, you know this person is full of integrity, mm. this person is courageous, this person is bold. Well, I would that. say that all alumnus or alumni of Redeemers University yes. do have those um, traits, but you can see it, you know, in us as, as every set comes and they have their peculiar names and they have their um, peculiar attributes. This is ours. So. Oh, that's so, so beautiful. Yeah. And, you know, very soon students will be resuming mm -hmm. in school. Yeah, they will. Now, for some other places, you know, they have to go and do COVID tests and yeah. all of that. Mm -hmm. And because we are so conscious about our health, the students have to do the COVID test. Before they but get Do you know yeah. that during the lockdown, mm -hmm. Redeemers University, through you know, the African Center of Excellence yeah. for Genomics of Infectious Diseases, they're conducting tests for several states in the Southwest. Honestly. I mean, what better way to make impact on the society exactly, than that? Exactly. And the AGID, as they're yes. called, they are known for their achievements. They've mm. helped with um, doing the Ebola outbreak, yes. doing a lot of uh, things. Lassa that fever, they work Lassa yellow fever. fever. So they've been very, very um, prominent in yeah. their roles and they've been doing such a wonderful job saving lives helping to put information out there all thanks to them and redeemers university uh, so redeemers university is doing a whole Great. lot out yeah. there mm -hmm. and even the graduates of redeemers university they're yeah. doing so well out there yeah. and that gives me a confidence that for those graduating today mm -hmm. yeah they will be doing excellently well definitely because you've had a line set you've seen people we've seen our past graduates do so well and so definitely there are high hopes for the current graduating sets and they will definitely be met definitely all right so i want to ask you a question you're graduating today <laughs> yes i am but while as a, as a student mm -hmm. in redeemers university yeah. your accommodation hmm two persons in a room 
<sighs> Don't get me started. I remember the first day I resumed, I was really excited to know that I wasn't going to have to share my room with like three or four people. Mm -hmm. To know that, okay, I had to get to know one person. Mm -hmm. which is completely fine mm, just one roommate yes and it's ensued so you have your own bathroom mm. it's it's just it's perfect you have your wardrobe you have you have enough space mm. it was completely mm, beautiful and you know what's interesting about it all right when i got into school <laughs> 15 years ago uh -huh. we we're just two in a room wow and 15 years after mm -hmm. that standard has not been compromised at all it remains the same it remains the same one of the best hostels that you will find in a university wow so you don't have to be keen to i mean use the no. bathroom you're or not things even cramped. Like, that. like there's enough space for both of you you're not entering each other each other's space mm. it's beautiful it's great and then another development you know which is better than what i experienced of course is the yeah. fact that you have your own um wardrobe yes you have your cupboard it's and then you like have like your table mm -hmm. and all of that yeah. wow that's so 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 beautiful. and a very comfortable bed mm, yeah a comfortable bed <laughs> yeah so yes that's, that's it did you hear of scholarships while in school or yeah. did you even benefit from any i actually did i was an athlete okay. so i did go for the last puga games and i got a silver medal okay so upon that i had a silver scholarship that um, took away 75 percent oh, of hold my on, hold on. so you mean for winning a silver medal yeah representing redeemers university mm -hmm. you got 75 percent i can remember of... my dad's face when i told him wow <laughs> I couldn't believe it. so those who got um gold medals does yeah. that mean they got 100 percent off they got 100 percent off and if you wow. have a bronze medal you get 50 percent off wow yeah okay but you know not everyone can be an athlete yes but there are other there are other forms of scholarships you okay. know i know there's one for the rccg and then there are also scholarships Hold on, the for... one for rccg yes. um does that mean members of rccg yeah, they, get to... they benefit from so it. they don't have to be pastors no they don't have to they don't have, have to be ministers be workers. they could be just attending the church it's, yes yeah as long as they're members as long as they're members of the church wow wow so it means it's so convenient actually really to attend redeemers university yeah, you... and then they provide all of these amenities mm -hmm. and you just have to follow the processes they tell you okay it's time for registration so you go you register you put in your information and they let you know once you have the scholarship oh wow beautiful beautiful <laughs> one yeah. more question okay. i mean to aid education you mm -hmm. know and scholarship while on campus yeah. did you have to make use of cyber cafes or was there internet mm. for you to do everything that you needed to do for your church actually we have um as at when i was still in school we had two ict centers oh, wow. big very accommodating air conditioned fully we even had ict based exams so it was free you could go in use them you you didn't need to go to a cyber cafe or anything and that was the beauty about it you could just walk in do what you had to do yes and you're good mm, and then of course uh, the presence of wi-fi you know very very key, especially <laughs> in this day and age because you want to be able to just have your phone or your laptop you just connect to it and oh so students don't even have to pay for wi-fi no, access no you, you don't have to pay for wi-fi access so oh man that's so so beautiful it is beautiful that's beautiful <laughs> yeah. i mean so you've heard a lot of amazing things mm -hmm. about redeemers university yeah. and if you're watching uh right now you know that redeemers university is the place to be it is the place to be we'll go on a short break now we have some documentaries for you we want you to please sit back relax and enjoy this documentary is right after the documentaries we're going into the main convocation That's program yeah. and you really do not want to miss it yeah. so enjoy yourselves even as we have these documentaries don't go anywhere
my feet, my whole body. All that I have, we sing hallelujah to you. Sing my hands, my body.
God, oh. I never see your type, oh. Please, kind God, oh. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name.
the national anthem. <laughs> University Anthem. to invite the university chaplain, Pastor Olubu Akoshile, to give us the opening prayer. Pastor Akoshile. Shall we pray, please? Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful unto you for your love towards your university. Thank you very much, O oh Lord, for these 12 years of releasing products to have the global change in your mind by establishing the university. We ask, O oh Lord, that as we go on with this 12th convocation ceremony, you will glorify yourself from the beginning to the end. You will make these graduates great products of this university and of your holy name. And Lord, they will be sources of joy to the university, to this nation, to their parents and sponsors. And God in heaven will smile on them. Thank you for doing what we're asking. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Can we have a seat? The visitor to the university, 
Chairman and members of the Board of Trustees, Chancellor, Chairman and members of the Governing Council, Chairman and members of the Senate, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Redeemers University Law 2003, as amended, empowers the university to hold examinations and grant degrees, diplomas, certificates, and other distinctions to persons who have pursued courses of study approved by the university and have satisfied such other requirements as the university may lay down, as well as to award medals, prizes, and other titles. Section 10, subsection 1 of the said law also provides that the chancellor, when present, shall preside at all meetings of convocation held for confirmment of degrees. I therefore humbly call on the Chancellor, General T.Y. Danjuma, retired, to constitute this assembly as a convocation for admission to first degrees and higher degrees, as well as the presentation of prices. The Chancellor, sir. I hereby constitute this assembly as a convocation of the Redeemers University for the purpose of admission to first degrees, postgraduate diplomas, and higher degrees, as well as the presentation of prizes. <laughs> I will now invite the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of Council, Pastor Tokumbo Adesanya, to present his welcome address. His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshinbaju, SAN, GCON, our esteemed spiritual father and visitor to the Redeemers University, Pastor E. A. Adeboye, and his dear wife, Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye, as we know her, Mommy Gio, the executive governor of the state of Oshun, His Excellency Boyega Oyetola, His Royal Majesty Oba Nuruddin, Adeshola Lawa, La Minisa the first, the Timi of Ede, and other royal fathers here present. The Executive Secretary, National Universities Commission, Professor Adamu Abubakar Rashid, MNI MFR, the Acting Secretary General Association of Vice Chancellors of Nigerian Universities, Members of the Board of Trustees, our Chancellor, General Teofilos Danjuma, retired GCON, members of the University Governing Council here present, the Vice Chancellor, Redeemers University, Professor Anthony Enison Akilo, Vice Chancellors of other universities, Principal Officers of the Redeemers University, principal officers of other tertiary institutions, distinguished academics and friends from other universities, professors and staff of Redeemers University, chairman, parents forum, parents and guardians, other special guests, our esteemed graduates, the Daniel Generation, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to the 12th convocation of the Redeemers University. Indeed, this year has been the most challenging since its establishment. We have gone through many troubled waters. Thanks be to God who saw us through. 
the horrors of COVID-19 and we can boldly sing, O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. Beneath the shadow of thy throne, thy saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is thine arm alone and ours, and our defense is sure. Today, as we gather both physically and virtually to release this unique set of leaders to the world, I believe the university is entering into another level of glory and achievement. The number 12 is significant in that it is a spiritual number. The Bible talks of, uh, the, of 12, the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 sons of Israel, the 12 apostles. It is in that light that I believe that our 12th convocation is taking the university into a new level. In the last 15 years of existence, the Almighty God, our Redeemer, has continued to show himself mighty on our behalf. He has continued to make us shining light to the world. All over the world, those who have been, in, been opportuned to relate with our products have attested to the quality of our students and graduates. The university has been awarded grants in various fields of study. The leadership of the Redeemers University African Center for Genomics of Infectious Diseases was recently awarded a major research and development grant called Audacious Sentinel Project by major world philanthropists to establish a global early warning system to preempt future pandemics. The center has also been nominated as one of the three specialized region, regional reference sequencing laboratories for COVID-19 in Africa by the World Health Organization. The faculties of engineering building has been completed while construction work of the proposed basic medical sciences is ongoing. At this juncture, I wish to appreciate all the staff who have worked diligently to ensure that the vision of the university is being realized day by day. I sincerely appreciate the effort of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Anthony Anison Akilo, and the management, the management team for their efforts and leadership. May the Lord crown your efforts with success. I want to say a big thank you to our chairman and members of the Board of Trustees for their unflinching support and efforts towards the development of this great institution. I also wish to express our profound gratitude to all members of the Governing Council of the Redeemers, Redeemed Christian Church of God, the pastors in charge of RCCG provinces, organizations, and individuals who have in no small measure contributed their own quota to the well-being of the university. May God bless you all. I wish to place on record our deep sense of gratitude to the Chancellor of the Redeemers University, Lieutenant General Theophilus Danjuma, retired GCON, who single-handedly built and equipped and donated the imposing faculty of engineering building to the university. 
May the Lord remember your labor and love for this great work. I especially appreciate the visitor to the University and the General Vasya of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, and our mother in Israel, Pastor Mrs. Fulu Adeboe, for their unflinching support. May the Lord continue to increase his anointing on you and add more fruitful years to your lives to continue to faithfully serve him and humanity in Jesus' name. Amen. In conclusion, I heartily congratulate our esteemed graduates for enduring to the end. I am confident that you will continue to shine and impact the world positively in Jesus' name. I wish to express the university's appreciation to all who have in no small measure contributed to the success story of the university. It is my prayer that when history of the redeemed, Redeemers University is written, your name will be written in gold, in Jesus' name. Amen. The visitor, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for listening. Thank you. Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent, as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020 2021 academic session programs such as civil mechanical electrical and electronics engineering architecture surveying and geoinformatics quantity surveying and others like nursing physiotherapy and law are available in a serene ict driven campus with a two-man all ensuite accommodation for all students to apply visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000 scholarships are available apply now Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent, as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020 2020 academic session programs such as civil mechanical electrical and electronics engineering architecture surveying and geoinformatics quantity surveying and others like nursing physiotherapy and law are available in a serene ICT driven campus with a two-man all ensuite accommodation for all students to apply visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000 scholarships are available apply now Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent, as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020-2020 academic session. 
programs such as civil, mechanical, electrical and electronics engineering, architecture, surveying and geoinformatics, quantity surveying and others like nursing, physiotherapy and law are available in a serene ICT driven campus with a two-man all ensuite accommodation for all students. To apply, visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000. Scholarships are available. Apply now. Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020-2020 academic session programs such as civil mechanical electrical and electronics engineering architecture surveying and geoinformatics quantity surveying and others like nursing physiotherapy and law are available in a serene ICT driven campus with a two-man all ensuite accommodation for all students to apply visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000 scholarships are available apply now Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020-2020 academic session programs such as civil mechanical electrical and electronics engineering architecture surveying and geoinformatics quantity surveying and others like nursing physiotherapy and law are available in a serene ICT driven campus with a two-man all ensuite accommodation for all students to apply visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000 scholarships are available apply now Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020-2020 academic session programs such as civil mechanical electrical and electronics engineering architecture surveying and geoinformatics quantity surveying and others like nursing physiotherapy and law are available in a serene ICT driven campus with a two-man all ensuite accommodation for all students to apply visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000 scholarships are available apply now Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020-2020 academic session programs such as civil mechanical electrical and electronics engineering architecture surveying and geoinformatics quantity surveying and others like nursing physiotherapy and law are available in a serene ICT driven campus with a two-man all ensuite accommodation for all students to apply visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000 scholarships are available apply now Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020-2020 
one academic session. Programs such as civil, mechanical, electrical, and electronics engineering, architecture, surveying, and geoinformatics, quantity surveying, and others like nursing, physiotherapy, and law are available in a serene ICT driven campus with a two man all en suite accommodation for all students. To apply, visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000. Scholarships are available. Apply now. Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020-2020 academic session programs such as civil mechanical electrical and electronics engineering architecture surveying and geoinformatics quantity surveying and others like nursing physiotherapy and law are available in a serene ICT driven campus with a two-man all en suite accommodation for all students to apply visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000 scholarships are available apply now Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020-2020 academic session programs such as civil mechanical electrical and electronics engineering architecture surveying and geoinformatics quantity surveying and others like nursing physiotherapy and law are available in a serene ICT driven campus with a two-man all en suite accommodation for all students to apply visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000 scholarships are available apply now Leadership is for the strong. We have demonstrated leadership across Africa as we are one of only three certified WHO reference centers on the continent as well as host of the World Bank funded Redeemers University African Center of Excellence for Genomics of Infectious Diseases. The time has come to revolutionize the study and practice of engineering and environmental sciences on the continent. Admissions into the faculties of engineering and environmental sciences is ongoing for the 2020-2020 academic session programs such as civil mechanical electrical and electronics engineering architecture surveying and geoinformatics quantity surveying and others like nursing physiotherapy and law are available in a serene ICT driven campus with a two-man all en suite accommodation for all students to apply visit adms.run.edu.ng or call 0700 700 8000 scholarships are available apply now Leadership for the strong. We have demonstrated.